Hi, and thanks for stopping to check out my channel. This is going to be on uh, a group of mopeds that I've had over the course of a few years, and I uh, just wanted to try to highlight them all real quick, so bear with me, I'm a little short. Uh, this is the first one that I picked up. This was at a yard sale, <laughs> out of all places, and I think I paid 150 bucks for it. I still have this one, and uh, we use it to go camping. I have a trailer that's built for it, and I... Uh, use it to haul our groceries and ice from the uh, camp office to our camper. Uh, the next one is just a real quick clip. Uh, we still have this one also. I uh, bought that at a uh, swap meet for 100 bucks. Good little moped. Uh, this one here was my first grande and I should have kept it, um, which I bought another one later on. Uh, this is just the Atomus I picked up. Uh, just bought it for parts mainly, but it ran, so I sold it off that way uh, after I got it running real well. Uh, this was a nice moped. I, uh, I I enjoyed it. Sold it to a gentleman in Kentucky. He came up and picked it up. Um, uh, the chrome was pitted. The carburetor needed float work, but other than that, uh, and a headlight. Other than that, it was a great moped. Uh, good runner. Um, this is a, a Thomas Targa step through. Uh, uh, just a project that I picked up, uh, pieced it together, and uh, sold it outright. Uh, Ran good, typical Targa. Uh, it was a late 90s model. Um, put a fairing on it. Uh, this one here was uh, a little chow, obviously, with the turn signals. It was an SC model. Um, good runner. Uh, picked it up relatively cheap and uh, sold it for cheap. A Benelli. This was a Benelli, the only one I ever owned. Uh, unique bike. Somati City Bike. I uh, bought this from a lady who had it in her basement. Uh, had it been on the road since the 80s. Uh, Minarelli V1 engine. Uh, strong engine. Uh, I recommend them. If you uh, ever had one before, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this was a good bike. Lightweight, quick, responsive. Um, sold it to a gentleman in uh, Michigan. Uh, up above Port Huron, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this one was a very nice moped, a Sax uh, Hercules M4, I believe it was, uh, 500 and some miles, uh, original owner, uh, just drove it up and down their driveway, very clean, sold it to a gentleman uh, that had lost his license due to a DUI, and he said, although I need a license to drive this, um, I don't mind uh, having it impounded by the police versus his car. Uh, should have kept that one, that was a very clean model, very nice. This next one's a project. Uh, bought it in pieces. I uh, had an engine for it. Slapped the engine on it. Um, then I bought side panels and uh, engine covers and fairings for it. And I sold it to a kid over in uh, Hartville, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I haven't really heard much after that. Uh, this was kind of cool. Uh, Sebring Moto Marina. Um, very nice bike. Another Minarelli V1 engine. I bought it off of... Uh, a gentleman named Mike over in Warren area in Ohio and uh, after I got it running I posted it up for sale and he bought it back because he couldn't get it running and uh, he wanted it really bad so he got it back and uh, um, as far as I know he had that for quite some time unique bike nice top tank design I like the way they look good lines this one's just a poop that I picked up um, I got it to run on carb cleaner. Um, I I bought it with the intention of just reselling it. Uh, it needed a lot of work, and uh, I like I said, I just got it to run on carb cleaner, and I sold it to someone uh, I think up in Toledo, if I'm not mistaken. Never had a pook until then. It was an okay bike. Uh, another Vespa Chow, very nice, should have kept this one. Sold it to a, a, a lady about my age, and uh, they were going to use it around their campgrounds. Um, um, I have videos of a lot of these running, uh, this one in particular. Uh, you can check those out also on this channel. Uh, this Pook I bought to tear apart. Uh, you're seeing it the way I bought it. I pulled the wheels and uh, the tires off, and I sold those. I bought that from Wisconsin off the back of uh, a complete one, uh, which you can see there. I just got the back end, and then I bought the front tire. 
and I put it together on that uh, one that was just previous to this. Um, that was a cool trike. I have a video of that running also. It was a two-speed, and it was a two-horse, and it had a magnum pipe on it. It was pretty quick. Uh, somebody on the eastern side of Pennsylvania came over and picked that one up. And as far as I know, he still has it. Weird riding. Uh, bought this from Columbus off of eBay. Uh, very clean. 700 miles. Um, I, I was impressed with how clean it was. I mean, there wasn't... There wasn't even a scratch on it. I uh, had a big trunk on it, a weird uh, trunk on the back. Um, but uh, I went down, I, I won the bidding. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I, I honestly can't remember. But uh, drove down in a horrible snowstorm to pick it up. And uh, my wife, uh, I mainly bought it for her. And uh, she, she drove it for a while. And... Uh, she just decided that she wanted something a little bit easier to start, which these are kickstart, but um, you'll see a little bit later on. I did find her something that was even easier to start than this, um, but it was so clean. I, I just can't even begin to tell you how clean it was. Plus, there's a video on this one running. Uh, again, uh, quite a few of these. There's pictures of them running. I, I posted quick little vids with no verbiage on them just so uh, somebody could see it run, and, and then I would send them pictures also. But... I was really happy with this moped overall. Um, it's just uh, wasn't what we wanted at the time. This next one that you're going to see is my son. He's much older now, uh, but that's a Thomas. It's not a moped, but it's a Thomas MC50 Senior, uh, two-speed A35 engine, very cool, automatic. That's a Pacer Hero Majestic. Uh, I bought that and sold it to a girl that doesn't live that far away from here. And about a year or two later, she got hit by a car. Uh, on this moped, it totaled the moped. She had hospital bills and everything else. Uh, she, I mean, she recovered from it, but it's still, I couldn't believe it. That first grande I had, I went ahead and bought another one. And uh, I ended up selling this one too. And I wish I had it. Uh, it's very clean. I sold it to a gentleman that lives down in East Liverpool. And uh, his son was using it for football practice going up and down the hills. Uh, he said it pulled fine. It was a, it was a good clean up, but low miles on this one too. Uh, 647 miles. Um, I got a video of this one running also. Yeah, I, I should have kept that one. It's a smooth ride. It's the Cadillac of Vespas for sure. And, and almost all mopeds tell you the truth. Uh, it used to have turn signals, if I'm not mistaken, but I pulled those off. Uh, just used my uh, old left arm. It did the trick. He stopped by a few times. I think he was trying to resell it at some point, but I, I just don't know. At this time, uh, this is what I bought my wife. It's an anniversary model, Thomas. This was a, a 2003, if I'm not mistaken, and it has an electric start, uh, a key with an electric start battery. See the key there. Um, that didn't have hardly any miles when I got it. Uh, put a pipe on it. I put a carburetor from my moped on there, uh, which was a little bit bigger than stock, and uh, it traveled right along. did did really well. Um, but yeah, you see the electric start there. That was, uh, she rode that quite a bit. Here's the collection, probably the largest group I had at one point. And then, uh, this is mine. Uh, when I first got it, I put a pipe on it. And then I, I put a, a carburetor on it, an aftermarket carburetor. And, uh, then after that, uh, I put saddlebags on it, uh, and, and drove it quite a bit. And then, uh, started really enjoying it. Me and my wife drove them around quite a bit and then I uh, really broke into it jumped it up on the lift there at the workstation and uh, changed everything uh, everything cylinder carburetor pipe everything 54 miles an hour uh, is what that did I kept that for quite a long time and then finally sold it um, thanks for watching if you uh, want to check out the videos that these may be running in just go ahead and hop on my site and you'll see them click uh, subscribe or like and get back with me later thanks